What up, people of the world? I was this day are these speaking, and today I have so many stuff to do that I decided I'm gonna record this video while I'm driving because <laughs> I don't want to fail another Sunday. Because the last two times the internet has been bugging me and it has for a while now, so I decided, you know, before the internet starts, um. The Wi-Fi starts doing weird stuff that is just gonna make me wanna effing curse. I decided that I'm gonna make a video about it. Well, at least the things that make me effing curse. We're gonna start with number five. When you hit your elbow, hip, toe, or finger against something hard out of nowhere, that pain that you feel when that happens, I think that deserves an effing cursing. Number four. A traffic jam which I am encountering in five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Not kidding. Okay. Been half an hour on that. Now I'm out of it. It is a little bit annoying, you know, when you're hours and hours on end on a traffic jam because um, there are slow people, there are curious people on the way. I mean, I'm, 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 you know, I'm. Okay, you know, I, I understand you want to know if there was like a like an accident, you want to know if there's someone you know, if someone is okay and everything. But it doesn't take you 10, 15 minutes standing there, not moving an inch, because you want to know how the crash happened. I mean you're making your theory about how the damn crash happened. If you see that no one's hurt, everything is fine, move on my friend, move on. Do not stay there and take selfies. I have seen people do this ish where they take us effing. Where the effing metal? This take this effing selfie with the damn crash. I mean, what is wrong with you? It's a little bit insensitive if there is a crash. And if there's not a crash, why the F are you doing this? Are you so much into yourself? Do you feel like you need to be present in every event happening in the street? Number three. I think giving birth, for those women who have given birth, equals the pain a man feels the moment you hit their balls. I mean, it, it, the difference is they last longer. And it actually brings forth something beautiful. You bring, you, you give life to another human being. But that pain that you feel when, for guys, when they hit the balls, so it's something very, very hard. And when a woman is giving birth, there must be an effing pain in the ass. And obviously, must make you want to effing curse the bejesus out of anyone. Number two. Yes, I didn't get lost. When the effing things don't go the way you want them to. That is correct. When you don't, you want things to go a certain way. Like, for example, my problem with the Wi-Fi. Recently, every time I try to upload a video, I'm like, yeah, I'm on time. It's 9 p.m. I mean, I had till 12 p.m. to, you know, to actually send this video, have it uploaded and everything. And what happens? The effing Wi-Fi decided that that's the perfect moment to screw me over. Nothing works. The computer starts being all bitchy like. The effing internet starts being all boss to say, I ain't working for you today. The data plan, the data plan. What the F do I have a data plan for? It's not working. It's like everything is against me. And I feel so weird about that. And I find that annoying and it makes me want to epic cars. I don't know if someone else feels this way, but every time that happens, it makes me want to epic cars. And finally, uh, I'm take this girl. Message. 
just yes f my life when that happens i am a very private and very um lone person i guess i like to keep my distance from people you know i'm not much of a social butterfly is that what it's called um so i feel weird when i'm around people so when there's certain people that don't even know they leave me messages through the phone they call they leave messages through social media the sky the uvu the, the, the chats everything that you can think of they leave a message um yes f my life when that happens i mean can you not take a hint if i'm not answering the first the second and the third i think you should know that i really don't want to talk to you that i feel like i should be in a bit of distance because i'm okay like if you cannot be okay with me distancing myself we already have a problem because i have proven myself when i meet people that i'm not much of a social butterfly i get anxious and i don't like talking a lot to people so i'm just that way I'm, I'm a little weird i can do it from time to time but there are moments when i can't and when i can't i'm like f my life stop talking i really want to leave and i want to be polite but you're like making me want to say dude shut up i want to leave can you see i, I was already at my foot was out the door and you saw me when I was had my hand you know on the effing door to leave why can you take a hit in conclusion of all these people I think the things that make you want to effing curse through all eternity is annoying people annoying people just that I don't think there's anything else in it but annoying people so if you haven't noticed I am an awesome driver you know I mean look at me i'm driving and i am recording i am an awesome driver i haven't invaded no one's space i haven't crushed nothing i am an awesome driver i'm not an awesome driver i i mean i got almost an a like i think it was point behind almost an a in the exam when i was 16 of driving in both of them so yeah Sure. I'm in a traffic jam again. F my life. So, yeah. If you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment because I'll be making videos every effing Sunday. Please <laughs> let it be so. And I want to remind you to love yourselves and be yourselves because being yourselves is like the most beautiful thing in the world. I am out, people. Peace. Subscribe. Wait, I'm gonna put music. I got to put music. I forgot what the button was.